How we doing? Got it started. Got it started? Rock and roll. Uh, you wanna dip it out up front, I guess? Looking good. That's a big boy. Getting them, getting the blood flowing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Two beasts of uh, snowblowers, huh? That's a good looking lineup right there. All right, guys. So it's a little transition day for us. We're cleaning out the my garage and getting a bunch of stuff to our storage lockers, and just kind of making room for spring. We got a lot of stuff in here that's been taking up space. Trying to just clear it all out and get it to the storage locker. We literally have stuff all over the place. Mark, Rob, how you guys doing? Pretty good. Good. Pretty good. There you go. I say, don't take that just yet. We might have to clean up the place. That right here is actually something that hasn't been on the channel in a while. But uh, the Milwaukee backpack actually works out pretty well. Wow. Thank you, fellas. Yep. So it's over here in Michigan. It's one of our, uh, you know, three nice days. It's about 45 degrees. Might get to the 50s today and tomorrow. Realistically, it's gonna be back to the 20s because they're calling for snow this weekend, <laughs> which is always exciting. But anyway, uh, this uh, whole workbench, this uh, work cabinet, um, tool chest, that's gonna go. And we're just trying to get everything at the storage lockers. Uh, we've got some different stuff that I'm trying to do here in the garage. And then we also have uh, another mower coming uh, tomorrow on Thursday. Perhaps a, another upgrade. Can't reveal what it is just yet. Um, it's about 8,300 bucks. Gonna be buying that here uh, up at Weingart's. So any ideas, leave them in the comments down below. Oh, this is getting cleaned out. I asked these guys if they can come help me out a little bit. Rob's on salary. I'm trying to get some hours out of him. You know what I'm saying? There he is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And Mark is hourly, so I'm trying to get Mark some hours. Hey, I got a brilliant idea. It's like socialism over here. We'll give half of Rob's hours to Mark. Excuse me? Aren't you? <laughs> I never agreed to this. <laughs> That's funny right there. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and start helping these guys out a little bit. All right guys, so really quick, just trying to make some room in the garage like I was saying earlier. Now, the fun part is gonna be when we get to the storage lockers. We have three storage lockers. Um, we have two more pieces of equipment coming and all the storage lockers are full. It's gonna be wild. We might have to rent another storage locker, which is brutal. Um, I can't wait one day to build a shop. I'm telling you guys what. Are you guys renting storage lockers right now? It probably behooved me to find a shop to rent for a thousand bucks a month or something just so we have some more room. Um, but we're doing the best we can with what we got at the time right and so spending a couple grand a year on storage is not fun but one day we'll have our shop uh and right now i need to go look at some shops and some other folks that have shops you know what i'm saying and uh, see what they got going on so we can get some fun ideas so all right hopefully we'll catch up with you guys here in just a quick minute at these storage lockers <sighs> let's go all right guys so we're back we are rock and roll we got the cub the toro the snow blowers the workbench the craftsman rolling uh toolbox here's the top you can do the good old Wash me. There you go. 
All right, like all of our other equipment. All right, so I'll show you guys a little tour of what we got going on. So it's kind of turning into a, a nightmare because we have no more room. So first locker, a little tour if you guys are maybe new to the channel. A uh, great spot for us to sharpen our blades. I got to get the RBG 712 over here. I moved one workbench over here, which is actually really convenient because we have wrenched on some stuff while we're here. Uh, Toro Multi-Force Bagger, the Mulch Force, right? Uh, U-Mount, by the way, selling this. Um, if anybody wants to buy it, holla at your boy. 2500 bucks comes with the cart and the crossbeam bracket. Uh, it's been a great leaf blower, but I'm looking to upgrade to a different leaf blower. We'll leave it at that. Shoot me an email or something, I'll take care of you guys. Uh, up in here, we've got the Xmark Aerator and the ever important Polaris 570. Now, this I can always store at my brother's place if I need to. So, this can uh, zip out of here. And then the last bay is going to be kind of for the multi force. So, we're in here. You guys can see that we have the snowblower attachment. Didn't even get to the snowblower attachment this year. I feel it's like such a jerk. Uh, I will get this all on here next year. There's just too much going on, man, with live event, baby, all this other stuff. We got the snowblade. So I'm trying to reserve this uh, spot for the Toro Multiforce, which is uh, a great unit. It's been just a workhorse for us this last year, especially with the mulch force. Hopefully the snowblowers can go here and all the little stuff we can just pack around it, right? All right, uh, I'll let you guys kind of design what you, what you want to do. Maybe we can do the Craftsman tool chest in the corner there where the rack is kind of, uh, and the yellow Ballard Jack. Yeah, the way. I'm thinking that'd probably be ideal. Um, rock and roll. Uh, you can just throw it anywhere for right now, yep. up here we figured it all out it took a little bit of tetris but you guys want to see the final result you guys did good <laughs> great job uh so here's <laughs> don't judge me okay this is locker number one uh this is why we need to do a shop tour tour and see what everybody else is doing so we got the toro this way cub point this way snow blade underneath uh if we get a stand on leaf blower we can kind of put it here uh it's just a lot, man. It is a lot. And then locker number two. We didn't change anything in here, I don't think, right, guys? No, no. That was insane. Some trimmers from Trimmer Wars last year, huh? No, no. Uh, and then in here, here's locker number three. Uh, we put the shovels on top. That worked. Uh, tool chest. Got the mulch force snug in there. Yep, mulch force over here. So I think we are good to go and ready to rock and roll, man. Uh, I'm glad that we didn't have to buy a fourth unit. No, yeah, uh, it was right? nice that we had uh, able to fit everything in the three we had. And, and not only that, the enclosure, when we get it back, it'll always have something inside it. Yeah. Because uh, we're out of space. Yeah. We're out I'm of space. I'm just glad bro. we didn't get a new one because it would have been too much work to figure out which what what's in which. Because every locker here, here is taken. Which, which one's uh, ours? Yeah. Yeah. Well, which one's ours, and then yeah, <laughs> what's actually in it? Unbelievable, man. All right. Well, uh, we're rock and rolling. Uh, utility trailer did great, and uh, appreciate you guys helping out big time. Um, you got keys or who's uh, got keys? I got my keys. Uh, then we gotta lock up the units, so oh, they're all. Uh, you got them somewhere. I got you, brother. All right, cool. Mark, you ready to rock and roll this spring? Oh, heck yeah. You're making your debut, man. How you doing? Pretty good. Glad to be back in Michigan. I know, right? Well, you were living the dream in Florida. I know. I got stuck <laughs> on it for a month. Can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, uh, you and uh, uh, Rob are going to be tag team and doing all the mowing. Uh, I'm super excited about that, and I'm going to be doing landscaping, anything else I can do, and keep it moving. And family owned, Bronzeville Maintenance. All right, guys, over and out. Have a great day.